Hello, hello and welcome to Accent on Cars. Today we have another W211 E63 AMG. Unlike mine, this one has some nice sweet modifications. Today we're gonna cover those modifications and then we're gonna take it out on the road to see if the modifications have made the car much better. <laughs> The carbon fiber lip, I think in my mind that makes the car look like really good and aggressive. The car has been lowered, so it sits nice and low. The ECU has been tuned. The car has race IQ ECU tuned, so I'm really curious to see if that makes a ton of a difference, whether that makes the car more responsive, faster. So can't wait to start driving the car. And uh, besides that, the car has a limited slip differential. Unfortunately, W211 E63s did not come with LSD as standard. It was an option on the performance package only. This car is not performance package, but the owner has added uh, OEM uh, Mercedes LSD. So I'm really curious to see if LSD makes a ton of difference as well. And the sweetest modification of all is the long tube headers. VRP long tube headers doesn't have cats at all, but it does still have resonator and, and then the mufflers. In my mind, that's the best exhaust setup possible for W211 AMGs, especially for naturally aspirated E63s. So let's take a listen. <laughs> Make sure you stay till the end of the video because there's gonna be a lot of exhaust clips today. I met the owner of this car at one of the meetups. He's local, so he provided his car for review. So thank you so much. Shoot me a message on Instagram or email and I would be more than happy to review your car as well. Okay, let's get started. Take a look at this magnificent M156. We are not gonna talk a lot about this. I have, again, I have like many videos about this motors, about this engine, uh, from head bolt replacement DIY to common issues, reliability. I have a whole playlist that I'm gonna leave for you in the description box down below. The owner has done some nice modifications to the engine itself. Uh, let's talk about those. I already mentioned the ECU tune. It has raw boxes, and if you don't know what that is, basically that's a European version of the uh, filter boxes that are less restrictive, so it lets more air in. So that makes the car supposedly more uh, responsive. Again, I can't wait to start driving it. And it also has AFE filters. I think it's enough. Let's take these things out on the road and start driving it. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe, I appreciate that. So in today's episode, I'm really looking for a couple of things. Uh, I, I want to see if all the modifications that the owner has done, the, the raw boxes, the different filters, and uh, the, the, the ECU tune, whether that makes the car much faster, much more responsive. Accelerate a little. Oh, <laughs> that sweet exhaust. car has been lowered like I said and the suspension is in the stiffest setting you can daily drive this car in the stiffest setting on the lowering links uh, but the car just looks so much better with with the lowering links yeah long tube headers are the best exhaust modification for M156 enjoy the view guys to put the car in manual mode so that we can hear more of that exhaust. That exhaust sounds really good, guys. <laughs> I can say that the, the, the limited dif the slip differential, I think, does help to put the power down. gonna take the car out to the highway to rev that engine even higher there's just like not enough of like open open roads here to rev it even higher than 4,000 4, rpm make sure you watch till the end I can I can feel the difference I think all the modifications the owner has done definitely does make the car faster and more responsive What 
I do like about long tube headers on, on uh, E63 is that uh, when put, the, put, you, put your transmission in the comfort and drive like a normal human being and there is no drone inside. You know, it's just a little louder than the stock in terms of like the, the exhaust note you get in the cabin when you drive slowly, but it's not annoying. You would definitely like easily take this car for long, long trips and wouldn't be annoyed by the exhaust at all. The C63 that we reviewed the other day, which I'm gonna link the drop for it in the description down below, uh, sounded much louder with the same exhaust setup. So for some people, long tube headers on C63 might be too much. For the E, that's the best exhaust setup. M156 spinning all the way to 4,000. 